This is a, a hodgepodge of stuff that's happening because I'm waiting for paint to dry and uh, uh, putting trim on. I did trim out the door. So I'm going to actually make the door right now. I'm going to make it out of tongue and groove bead board. I'll put the bead to the outside. That should look really nice. It'll give it a, uh, rather than on the other side, it's no bead and it would look kind of big, bulky. So I'm thinking the bead will make that look real pretty. And so for the door, I'll need five of these and then I'll rip them to get it all centered. 56 even. I'm going to make the door one piece, trim it out, and then I'll cut it to make it a Dutch door. Woo! <laughs> that came out perfect. three out of one piece. I think you're right, I need a bigger shop. This is really nice looking pine. Four. Let's put it together. Well, let's see here. I want to get the bead board out here first. All right, we'll lay these out. So we're 26 inches. Finished door width is going to be 23 and 5 eighths, which is this right here. So we'll be ripping some off of each side once, once we assemble it. Very nice, okay. Put a clamp on that. So that's flush, flush at the top. I'll cut some pieces and secure them all the way around. So I took the pipe clamp off, it's staying good and solid that way. And I flip it over because I need to get, I'm going to screw down through these side pieces. I put a block of wood underneath to get it up pretty close to the same. put this one on first, this side, and then when I'm ready to do the other side, I will put a clamp and make sure it's good and solid at some, at some point. <laughs> and let's see, I have inch and a quarter screws. Twenty-eight is about the center. I want to stay away from there because I'm going to be cutting that in half. I'm not too concerned about placement of screws right now because I'm going to put another two by on top. So it'll actually be a two and a quarter inches thick door. It should be really stout. This one on the other side. I've made a mark 23 and 5 eighths here and put a line down so I can tell from underneath. Picking the good side of the wood. I'm 
going to use this little scrap piece. Now that I've clamped it, it won't come apart. Sixteen and three eighths. Perfect. All right. All right, do the other end. All four edges are secured. I'm wanting to tie these all together, top and bottom. So, Picking the good side of the wood. Using two inch screws now to go through the th three thicknesses. This will be the finished inside, so I'm going to try to do a kind of a nice pattern. I think I've mentioned before, if you run it in reverse, the, the screw, it pre-bores the hole so that when you're out near the edge of the wood so it doesn't split. And I've clamped it so it's all good and tight. Now we'll go down and do the other end. And now we can take this pipe clamp off. It had to happen. The first big blunder of 2024. Making this beautiful door for the playhouse. And you can see right here, something is askew. <laughs> you can see the bead right here and then it disappears. So I pulled measurements. It's a beautiful fit, too. It should be like over here. That side is an inch. These top pieces are an inch too narrow. This is 23 and 5 eighths, 22 and 5 eighths. So I have to. This side, this end is good. The side pieces, not really. I've got to basically take the door apart and just reconfigure it. Hopefully, I can reuse those. They match up really nice. Too bad. This piece will be scrap, and the one underneath will be scrap. I should have, look, come on down here, look a little closer. I looked at it, and I was kind of puzzled even. Um, so now I'm not sure. I may have to take the entire door apart. But there's um, an inch and a half from here, even if you didn't count the tongue, just from the shoulder, it's an inch to here. And over here, it's two and a half inches. So that's really messed up. Bummer. Okay, it looks like the, I, I think the piece on this side is off. On this side, I mean. Yeah, wow. How did I miss that? It goes from inch and a half to two and a half. So I've got to pull this piece over. This one is good. And I'll have to put a new piece here.
pull these screws. We want, let me verify, 23 and a half. There. I think that'll be better. And I'll replace this piece. 23 and a half. Okay. So I need to put the clamp back on here before I put this on. I'll be pulling this board off so that will allow this to expand. So I want to make sure I hold it in place. Let's try a new piece. And seven sixteenths. Okay, please. Could go get my hammer. Very good. Okay, let's turn that over just to, to get a look at it. I'm almost afraid to. Much better. You can see if you follow this bead all the way up through there, it's consistent. The other side, it's off a quarter inch or so as compared to maybe three eighths, but it's it's even all the way up through there, so that's good. Much better. On the other side, I ran the long ones down. That'll be the outside. That's typically how you do it. But I wanted to overlap those going a different direction for strength. Okay, just going to put these side pieces on. And back to where I was. <laughs> I think I'll take a blade off of each of those. Maybe half a blade. Much better. Uh, take an eighth of a blade off of that one. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's screw those in. foot I'm going to put in a what will be that where the Dutch door is cut in half There. So we'll secure that after I, and then I'll put a, a backer on the other side. I'll come right through here. I'll cut it right in half. And I'm going to remove um, probably an inch and put a shelf on the lower half of the door.
So I'm just going to take a scrap piece. I'm going to go from corner to corner. Set that there and there. And I'll just make a pencil mark there, 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 and on this side and find out what the degrees are. I'll probably do, uh, I want to fine tune it, make sure it's perfect. And then we'll, so uh, after I cut it on the chop saw, I'll bring it back and we'll put it on there. Okay, so I cut the angles on both. It actually ended up being 44 degrees. Wow, that's a good fit. So same way this way. I know that won't be a 90, de uh, 90 degree cut. It's going to be different than that. There's that one. Now we'll do the bottom one. Just taking the, the cutoff from this angle is right here. That matches up real well. Forty four degrees. There it is. If, if I had another hand, I would run this through on the table saw to rip. I have to cut this piece off and that piece, but it's just me, so I'm going to do it with a skill saw, circular saw. Then I'll take the hand planer and just kind of smooth up the edge. I may not even need. I'll do it just to uh, get the roughness off it. This is a stout little door. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, you can see where I drew two lines. I'll be cutting that part out because that's where there'll be a little shelf and that's where the door will divide. going to try to fit it see <laughs> see if it fits very nice i like that okay mount some hinges and then we'll bring it in and mount it some package using a T hinge I'm going to cut this uh, after I've mounted the hinges and know that everything fits then I'll take the hinges back off and make that cut two cuts up the middle Well, then one of the next steps will be to cut this center part out, but we need something for glass to be able to look out. And I thought, you know what? What says it better <laughs> than love? I think we need a heart-shaped window in here, right there. So <laughs> I went to the store and bought this. It's close to Valentine's Day. So I thought, hey, you know what? That's a good way to make a heart. Just buy a box. It's a two twofold blessing because somebody gets to eat all this chocolate. All right, let's cut that out. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. I'll just smooth that up, sanding it. And I'll go order a piece of plexiglass to go. It'll mount on the inside. And we're all done with that. All right. On the bottom section of the door, on the top, there'll be a shelf, a one by four. And you can see I already notched out this one. I just have to do that on this side. Then we'll glue and nail that down. Then this will come down and there'll be a, a slight space, just under a quarter of an inch. So I'll cut out the other side of this one. The, the, uh, the trim on the door opening is a, sticks in half an inch. So I came in three quarters of an inch and I'm going to just make that straight across. And then I just used a bottle cap to give me a round circle on this side. All right, I'll just hand sand that, smooth it up and paint it. Just like that. <laughs> I do believe this will be two coats on this one. So I flip the doors over, and now we'll paint the, uh, the front side, the outside. The, uh, the door is not complete. I have to get the, uh, the hardware mounted. And I ran into a little bit, of, little bit of a problem in the latching of it. But it swings really well. Beautiful. I love that Dutch door look. Go there. It needs a second coat of paint. I don't know if that'll stay. Anyway, there it is. I love that little heart shape. That's going to wrap up this video for today. There'll be one more video. It'll be doing the handrail. The siding is all complete. And then we're going to move it out of here. Hopefully it clears. We'll see if it does. It should be pretty, pretty fun just dragging this thing out of here. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, let's go inside. Ice cream, anyone? I think this would make a great ice cream stand for little kids. See ya.